Good morning my friends, welcome back to the vlog. So today I thought I would take some time to kind of go through some of the comments and questions that I've been getting on my last couple of videos and just kind of clarify a few things. Um, so I'm gonna jump right in, I'm actually getting ready so this is kind of gonna be like half get ready with me, half like answering your questions um, and responding to comments. So um, I already put powder on my face, I just used this BB powder from Physicians Formula and I just put a little bit of this rose spray on um, as kind of like a base. Um, I'm not gonna do a whole lot of makeup today just because I'm not going anywhere that requires me to look really good. So I'm not gonna do then too much makeup. Um, maybe just a little bit of bronzer because my body is a little bit tanner than my face so I do have to kind of compensate. But anyway. Okay, so my last two videos that I posted, one was my move-in video, the other one was my planning and my district's plans video. I just want to like front load this with just saying like, I don't know every single thing. Like I know some details, but I'm still pretty much in the dark about a lot of details. So um, I'm just going to jump right in and start with comments and questions. So. Um, all of the questions that I'm going to be answering, I did put public, so if you want to see them, you can go to those videos and see. All of my comments are on approval, so, um, there have been a few people who have found my address and, like, my personal phone number, and they've put them in comments, and so I keep everything private so that I can just, like, filter through those nasty ones. Um, okay, so if it's, like, a comment that... I don't feel needs to be shared publicly, then I won't, but like I said, you can go look. Um, a couple of them, like this one, I guess COVID doesn't exist in Arizona. Well, either you're being nasty or you've been living under a rock, but yes, COVID does exist in Arizona. Um, unfortunately, because of our school schedule, we go back first before most of the nation does. Um, some of our schools begin at the end of July, like mine. Some begin at the very beginning, like August. But we also get out of school at the very end, so, sort of endish of May. Um, and so, yeah, we're starting earlier, so it kind of sounds crazy that we're already into this, like, back to school mode. But we are, um, and that's just how Arizona is. So Arizona's leading the way in school and COVID. <laughs> um, what grade am I teaching again this year? So I'm going to be teaching fourth grade science and social studies. We are departmentalized at the school that I'm at. A question about that was when you departmentalize with all this going on, they're surprised they're going to let kids rotate. So um, the day that I moved into my classroom, my principal actually had contacted me and uh, the rest of my team, and I'm sure the fifth grade, possibly sixth grade, and asked us if we would consider rotating teachers, which means that our students would be in a home classroom, and then the teachers, we would rotate through classrooms. So basically rotating the teachers rather than the students, which at first I was kind of like, Meh. like I would rather just be in my own classroom all day. But then I thought about it and that was really selfish of me because the only reason why I'd want to stay in my own room all day is just because that's my stuff, like that's my room. Um, and I wasn't really thinking, you know, how difficult it would be for 60 plus children to move around the building when just three teachers could move. So we did let our principal know that we would be more than happy to rotate, um, we would just use carts, um, and it's obviously not permanent, I mean, you know, it's not forever. Um, I also offered her, like, hey, I could just teach all subjects, and she was like, you know, some, there's a lot of teachers that don't want to do that, so we'll just stick to what we're doing. This just broke, so I need a new one. This is like my NYX brow stuff, that just broke. Um, but anyway, so if we do go back um, in person and there's still like a big threat, then we as teachers will rotate through our three scheduled um, blocks. So um, our homerooms would just stay put and we would move around. So a question came up, are any teachers from my school teaching online? I do believe at the end of the school year last year, my district, I, because I wasn't there, so I don't really know. I could ask my teammate, but um, I think they gave them the option to teach online, like to sign up to do that. Um, and 
um, and then, you know, shuffled people around. So I'm pretty sure they gave teachers an option, which I've heard is very common here in Arizona. I know that a lot of my friends from my old district got the option to teach online, hybrid, or in person. So that's really cool. They're giving teachers options because they understand that some people have compromised immune systems at home. Um, or, you know, they are not comfortable returning to school with children. So they did get an option at my other district. Like I said, I don't know I'm new to this one, so I don't really know what happened a ton at the end of last year, but um, I can assume that like my old district, they gave teachers a choice. How do I feel about my return to school plan? Um, well, as, as time has progressed, so since the last time I filmed, um, my, my district did announce that we will begin virtual on the 22nd of July and we will remain virtual until at least August 17th and then they will reassess and see what the governor says. So as of now, I am beginning online and so I have started kind of planning and prepping some stuff for my classroom, for Google Classroom, just like you know, virtual meet the teacher stuff and um, expectation things. And since I get my school computer tomorrow, I don't have a district email yet. So I don't have technically access to a Google Classroom that I can make. So as soon as I get that computer and that email, I will start creating my Google Classroom and start getting things ready for that. I do kind of have like a plan and depending on what my principal like their expectations as far as like how many assignments per day um, are the kids doing like mandatory like am I gonna be holding like a virtual class I don't really know um, everything is supposed to begin this week so I know on the 9th which is Thursday I have some meetings and I know tomorrow I get my computer and then Wednesday, I don't really know what's going on yet, um, but I know that a lot of our meetings are virtual. So we'll find out what's going to happen. I do kind of have a plan for what I want the kids to be doing online. It's gonna be kind of hard, you know, to teach science online and social studies online without it being reading heavy, but it's just going to have to be what it is. Um, so I'll make it work. I I'm, I'm just praying that we can go back to school to work from school as teachers just so that I can have a little bit more like a workspace rather than trying to cram everything into a small office. By the way, I'm using this new mascara from Thrive Cosmetics. It's the Liquid Lash Extensions Mascara and let me tell you what, this stuff is bomb. It's like a tubular mascara so it has like the fibers in it and it's pretty stellar pretty stellar mm, I think that's it <laughs> alright let me grab my coffee and we're gonna take a field trip to the office somebody commented saying it's insane how much we teachers spend in our classrooms to build an environment we don't get paid enough. <laughs> I agree. It is pretty crazy how much money we spend on our own stuff, but unfortunately, but unfortunately we have to. See, this is the kind of stuff that we don't show you on YouTube, <laughs> but I'll show you. <laughs> so anyway, okay, let's get into a couple more of these. Um, I know that somebody had commented saying like, I'm shocked that you're allowed to bring so much personal stuff in such and such country, I can't see it right now, but in such and such country, um, our school provides us with everything we need. And I'm like, I'm so glad for you. <laughs> They're like, yeah, we just order it through our school's budget. Oh, I'm so glad for you. <laughs> That's so cool. Can I move there? <laughs> um, okay. I'm trying to find more like questions. So let's see. Somebody, Diana, I believe, uses Science Fusion. I so wish we used Science Fusion. I don't want to have to purchase all the online stuff on my own 
because we do have our own curriculum as you saw in my last video, but I so wish we could. Um, I am familiar with mystery science. Um, my school is not signed up for it as I that I know of, but I'm possibly thinking about reaching out and asking if they are. Um, oh yeah, this one. This was my favorite. Is it normal for U.S. teachers to have to bring so much stuff for the classroom? I teach in the U.K. and it would be unheard of for a teacher to bring so much you need a U-Haul. Most stuff is provided by the school or you can order it through the school with the school's budget. Can I move there? Can I come teach with you? Do you know how much money I would save? Yes, I have a lot of stuff and here's why. So, I mean, this is just me personally, but I, I know a lot of people are different. Um, when I pack up my classroom for the end of the school year, there are quite a few things that I probably could pitch and get rid of. But when you're moving districts, you just don't know what you're going to get when you get there, what they're going to provide, how much budget you're going to have, what the demographic of the families is going to be like. Are they going to be more willing to give and donate? Are they not going to be capable of donating? Um, things like that. So a lot of the stuff that you guys saw me moving was like boxes of supplies. So I have like boxes of tempura paint. I have boxes of construction paper. I have boxes of like science stuff. So like potting soil and like pretty much anything that was given to me throughout the last six years of my career that I didn't use, that I was allowed to take, I took it because it's free and I don't know if I'm going to get it again. Pause. I just got a package. I just got a package. I just got a package. I wonder what it is. I did quite a bit of online shopping this last couple days, so I'm sure. In these next couple of videos, I'm gonna be sharing things I bought. I don't know what this is. I don't know what this is. I think it's a, st oh. Oh, it's a cable, okay. So um, I ordered an iMac. Yay, I'm totally a copycat of Jennifer. I have wanted one for years and um, we had some really cool, significant money-saving events happen in our household and I'm turning 30 in like two months. So I requested an iMac computer for my birthday because editing videos, working from home, things like that. Um, my computer is great, but it doesn't have a lot of memory. I can't really store stuff on it. So I wanted a an iMac to go here in my office for many different reasons. And so I got it and it won't be here until my birthday, like the week of my birthday. But this is just an adapter cord for that. So I'll just toss it over there. Okay. Let's continue with the Q&A. The district is letting you bring in all that furniture? Our district is not allowing any furniture with fabric due to germ COVID concerns. Interesting how every state has different standards. Well, my friends, <laughs> if the school or district was not going to allow me to bring things, I don't know what I would do because I was paying $90 a month to store my classroom. Um, also, I don't have any fabric furniture. I think I have one chair that is fabric and I was planning on bringing that home to be in this office anyway. Um, plus, if I don't have a kid sit on it, it's not really a big deal. Um, the striped fabric chair in my classroom is my chair anyway. So um, they won't be sitting there, obviously. And then a lot of my other furniture is more like bookshelves and like surface area desks, things like that. Um, I do have pillows that I took, but again, they'll probably be put away if we do return. Why does this make me excited for the upcoming school year? Because it's giving hope. That's what it's giving. When I got to move into my classroom, I was given a little bit of hope. And then of course it was snatched back when we got told we weren't going back till August 17th. But I'm hoping we can go in to work. Like I said, um, it's just crazy to me. Um, let's see. Yes, I have a lot of stuff, but like I said, I've gone to schools where I've had no furniture. I've gone to schools where I've had a ton of furniture. I've gone to schools where they gave me stuff. They didn't give me stuff. And I just like having my own things because I like creating the classroom environment so that it's enjoyable for students. And I personally think that a white matching set of bookshelves is better than a gray metal bookshelf that matches nothing. Is 
That's just my personal opinion. You don't have to, you don't have to think that going out and buying a bunch of furniture and like making it a Pinterest worthy classroom is what you have to do because you really don't. My classroom is not Pinterest worthy. I just have a preference and I like things to be the way they are and that's just how it goes. Um, we're not allowed to go in and decorate. I haven't been back since I moved in. Um, I, like I said in those videos, my principal was very gracious and let me move my stuff in there so that I didn't have to pay another month's rent on my storage unit. So that was just very, very kind of her and she didn't have to do that. Um, I, I don't believe any of the other teachers that work there or that are moving in had that opportunity because I probably just have way more stuff than anyone else that I needed a storage unit. Um, but that was very nice of her. Um, do, 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 do. Gabriella says, hi, Miss Valdez. Hi, sweetheart, I miss you. So I think that's all of the questions that I have for like returning to school. Like I said, I'm still kind of in the dark. I just texted my friend, um, uh, um, my husband's partner's girlfriend is also going to be working at my school teaching science in seventh grade. And so we've kind of connected, um, they work together and we've kind of connected and we've been talking back and forth and like making plans to like work together and like stuff like that. And um, we're very much still in the dark. Like, like I said earlier, I get my computer tomorrow, but I have no idea where I go after that. Um, I know that we're starting virtually, but I have no idea what types of plans I have to do um, and how everything's going to work yet. They just haven't communicated that yet, but I'm assuming it will all happen this week. Um, whew, yeah, that's all I got. And this video is already going to be like 20 minutes long because I'm a rambler. Um, I'm done with that. So I'm going to let you guys go. And I will continue to update you guys as things progress here in Arizona with schools and the beginning of the school year. If you're not already, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I like to do more daily, like throughout the day updates there more like Instagram vlogging, um, if you will. But if you're not following me there, go ahead and do that. And yeah, see you guys in the next one.